Uh, this is Country Living, E Oregon style, 61, and I've decided to make uh, a Reuben casserole tonight for you. Uh, first thing you do is you get a 13 by 9 pan. You spray it so nothing will stick in it. If you don't have the spray type, you can use oil if you wanted to. Uh, you take a can, two cans if you're buying it from the store. I'm using my homemade, so I used a quart of your uh, sauerkraut. You want to drain it, make sure most of the water is out of it. Rinse it if it's too salty, then from the store. And you uh, kind of mash it out into your 13 by 9. In, in this particular bowl here, well, let's set this off to the side for right now. Uh, I've got two cans of mushroom soup, or you can make your own and do it, it doesn't matter. In that, you want to add a medium chopped onion. A tablespoon of mustard. Prepared mustard, no biggie. Now this recipe does not call for any um, um, salt and pepper. I still put salt and pepper in, so I will add my salt and pepper at this time. You, it's optional. To me, it just needed a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't know what I put in that. I do everything without measuring except for a few things I measure. And I want just a little bit, not much, because it has uh, sausage in it too. Okay. Um, you're supposed to put in about a can of milk. If that'll look right, then add a little bit more. And you kind of give it a stir, make sure everything's kind of stirred up. You kind of want the lumps out of your, your uh, cream of mushroom soups, basically what you're doing. Then, it says to use a medium-sized package of egg noodles. Well, I never measure. Here we go again. I'm going to measure. So what I do is I... Let's see if I can... Let's see. Get it back here like this. I just sprinkle them over the top. You put them in dry. Is what I had poured out. But I see I have mine in bulk, so I just kind of do it that way. Okay, then what you do is you take that stirred up. Um, you t it's called for Polish sausage. Now, if you use Polish sausage, that's fine. I've done it that way. One day I was out of Polish sausage and I didn't have any kibasas, I didn't have any of that type of stuff. So I started using um, the the little smokies, okay? That way you don't have to cut them up. Otherwise, you cut them up into one-inch pieces if you're using a kibasa or a um, Polish sausage. But I use the little the little smokies. I don't have to cut them up either. But I like the flavor better. And these are happen to be the beef ones. You just gotta scatter them around on this. Some it, sometimes it doesn't take a whole package. It's just kind of whatever you think you want in there. That's kind of, and I kind of you know space about. Okay, then you take um, you take mozzarella cheese, or you can use Swiss cheese, whichever you want, and you cover the top of that with cheese. 
and you put a pretty good size amount on. Um, you don't really want to see a whole lot of the noodles and stuff, so you put quite a bit on. Doesn't matter if you see the sausage sticking up through it or not. That's that's fine. The reason why it's called a Reuben, my guess is, because it, it isn't like a Reuben sandwich. You have no corned beef. You don't have any Thousand Island dressing in it. It's it's because of the sauerkraut, I'm sure. Anyways, um, you uh, turn this up a little bit. You uh, make sure this is mixed, and you pour it over the top. If you, it calls for a whole onion, um, chopped up onion, medium sized onion. If you don't want that much, don't put it in. If you don't like onion at all, forget it. You don't have to. That was a good sized chunk. I don't think I really want that one in there. Now you just kind of move it around a little bit. Make sure kind of everything kind of gets covered a little bit. Oops, I made a mess. Give me a paper towel. And I don't want it. I don't want it burning on my that on that handle there. Okay. Now what you're doing is I've got um, three tablespoons of butter. And I've got some of my own homemade breadcrumbs. You melt your butter down, and I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm melting it down. I had it turned on, but it's not quite melted. You take your dry breadcrumbs. Now, you can use the stuffing mix if you want to from the store. does not matter. I just have to have some breadcrumbs that I have dehydrated. Um, there's odd shapes. You can be fancy and get the ones from the store if you want to, but I, I use my own. And you put them in, let me see if I can get a pot holder here. Okay. You put them in a saucepan or whatever, and you, whatever you're melting your butter in. And you put some in there. You want them coated. Coat them with that butter. Some of mine are a little bit bigger than what I would ordinarily use, but you know, when you live out where I do, you use what you have. And then you sprinkle it. Let's see where we at. So you can see better. You sprinkle it over the top of, and that doesn't have to be covered the whole thing. You sprinkle it over the top of the whole the whole soup mix everything that's in here. You just put it on the top. Then you put a piece of tin foil over the top of this and you bake it at 350 for an hour. And I will be back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've taken it out after an hour. What you're wanting to do is in you may have to cook it a little longer. You just want to make sure that your egg noodles are done, that they're soft. Okay, that's what it looks like. I've already taken a um, a portion out of it for Jim for supper, and uh, in a second I'll have him give you a taste test. Be right back. Okay, we're ready for a taste test. I'm also serving a salad with this. Um, you can also do a you know like garlic bread or some kind of bread if you want it. Well, what's it's good, good, good to go. All right, um, catch you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good evening.